Hello, this is Dr. David Green, Educational Director for Premier Pain Specialists in Chicago. Today's topic is radiofrequency ablation for back and neck pain treatment. 90% of Americans experience back pain at some point during life. It's the second most common reason that people go to see a doctor. It's the leading cause of disability in those under the age of 45, and it's seen in up to 40% of those who undergo back surgery. That's called fail back surgery syndrome. Neck pain affects about 10% of the population at any one point in time, up to 45% each year, and 50 to 70% of individuals have neck or shoulder pain at least once in their lives. Here's a picture of a facet joint. You can see that they're about the size of a thumbnail on either side of the spine. They go all the way up and down from the neck down to the buttocks. They have cartilage and they do provide motion for the spine. They are prone to arthritis, just like other cartilaginous joints, the hip, the knee. 45% of the time, the facet joints are the cause of low back pain, and we really don't have a successful joint replacement like we do for the hip or the knee. So when, when a pain management doctor tries to make the diagnosis of facet joint arthritis-related pain, it's a combination of things that's looked at, history, physical exam, x-rays, CAT scan. So here's what a physician may see on a CAT scan. You can see on this side over here, vertebral body, spinal canal, these are the joints, and they look great, actually. Nice and smooth, no bone spurs, no rattiness to them, okay? And over here, you have a lot of breakdown, a regular joint surface, some extra bone growth. So these don't look so great. That doesn't necessarily mean that this person's going to have a ton of pain and this person has none, but you have to correlate it with what... Uh, the patient's experiencing. It ends up being a coin toss at the end of the whole workup. Severe pain may be accompanied with very little arthritis um, on CAT scan or x-rays or vice versa. Even the best trained spine doctors only get it right about 50% of the time. So when you look at diagnostic injections to figure out if this joint or joints are the source of the pain, the first type is a medial branch block. This is when a needle is placed around the joint, not in it, and the, the Objective is to numb, with numbing medicine, those tiny little nerve endings called the medial branches that are supplying sensation to the joint. The other type of diagnostic injection is actually putting a needle into the facet joint, okay, and that's just like, you know, you would for a knee injection or hip, you're putting the steroid and numbing medicine into the joint. Either one of them can work well to tell diagnostic information and also can provide pain relief for months at a time. So what is a positive result? Well, some insurance companies will say 50%. Some will say 80% pain relief is more accurate. Some insurance companies require 80% pain relief on two separate injections before approving a radiofrequency ablation. So a medial branch block in and of itself can provide on average three months of pain relief. It serves both a diagnostic and a therapeutic uh, reason. And when the pain relief wears off, it can be repeated or a person can move on to have a radiofrequency ablation. Other names for radiofrequency ablation include a neurotomy, medial branch neurotomy, medial branch thermocoagulation, radiofrequency denervation, lesioning, RFA. They all mean the exact same thing. So here's five facts about RFA. The current used in the procedure is the same wavelength as radio signals. It has nothing to do with your FM radio, though. It can actually be more painful afterwards than it was before. The pain relief can last for upwards of one to two years. You do need to have a diagnostic injection prior. That's what insurance companies require. And then it has been a revolutionary treatment truly for back and neck pain. What exactly does it do? Well, what happens is you have these nerve roots coming out, and here's your facet joint, and these little nerve endings called medial branch nerves come off of the nerve roots and provide sensation to the facet joint. So when the radiofrequency catheter is placed, it heats up and deadens those little nerve endings and relieves pain. It does not affect the uh, nerve roots. So catheters are placed uh, under image guidance, and you can see them going through the skin here. Now, why are there four? The reason is that the newest radiofrequency machines can treat multiple levels at one time, which is great. It, it allows more to be done in less time. So image guidance put, tells the doctor where to put those, and then an initial small stimulation is done to make sure that these catheters are not too close to an actual nerve root. And once that's deemed uh, satisfactory, usually it's heated up to 80 degrees Celsius for about 90 seconds, so it's really hot, and it deadens those medial branches. It's an outpatient procedure, usually takes less than an hour. You don't have to have um, sedation for it, but you can. What are the results? Well, pain relief for up to two years, significant and longer-lasting pain relief compared to plain steroids. 
greater range of motion is um, a result, lower use of pain medications, and a short recovery time. Uh, potential complications include increased pain for a week or so due to spasms. You may have increased pain for months if the nerves are only partially coagulated. This happens in a small percentage of folks. Uh, some temporary numbness of the skin over the procedure site. Very rare spinal cord trauma. The average pain relief in one very large study was 15 months, 472 days. And they also have done studies looking at repeat procedures if the pain comes back and they got the same great outcome. The top non-operative pain management in the Chicago metro area is with Premier Pain Specialists. There are several clinics in and around the city providing over 25 different treatment options and accepting over 50 insurances with the board certified fellowship trained physicians. Please visit us online at ppschicago.com and then call us for more information and scheduling at 847-519-4701. Thank you very much for watching.